get ready to go undercover as we're going to learn all about the secret agent career in The Sims 4. This includes a look into both the diamond agent and the villain branches, as well as the unique interactions and perks that the career brings, like the tranquilizing handshake that will make a sim pass out. Now you can enter the career by using the careers panel or business section of your phone to find a job. And the first thing that you'll want to know is that the main skills required to progress in the career are the logic and charisma skills, with sims who specialise in the villainy branch also needing some mischief skill levels too. The ideal mood for training the logic skill is being focused, the ideal mood for training the charisma skill is being confident, and the ideal mood for training mischief is being playful. Being in the ideal mood while training a skill will save you around 25% of the usual training time. And if you have your sim in a strong, very state, such as being very focused, then this will increase to save around 35% of the usual time. And we do love training skills faster. If you're training the mischief skill, then be careful with becoming too playful though. You don't want your sim to reach the hysterical stage as with that there's a chance that they'll literally die. Not what we want. Also know that specific lot traits will help you train these skills faster too. Science Lair will impact on the logic skill and Convivial will impact on the charisma and mischief skills, with these traits allowing you to save around 25% of the usual time that it takes to train them. Now you'll start out in the career as an agency clerk and the daily task until you specialise at rank 8 of the career is to either browse intelligence from the web section of a computer, which can leave your sim with a focused moodlet, or alternatively to perform friendly interactions, which can easily be done with other sims. Completing the daily task before each workday will boost your performance, as will having good relationships with co-workers, going to work with positive emotions, and changing the way that your sim works to be work hard or take risks. This can can be done by clicking on the two people on the top right of your sim's head icon while they are away at work. Working hard will increase work performance but reduce their fun need and potentially make your sim stressed. Then taking risks will increase work performance, but give your sim a chance of getting either a confident or sad moodlet. Your sim can also take it easy, lowering performance but increasing fun and potentially making your sim happy. And also socialise with co-workers, which lowers work performance but fills up the social need, and potentially lets them meet co-workers and make friends. Now at level 2 in the career, you'll unlock the swiveler desk chair that can have a confident emotional aura enabled. You'll also be able to do intelligence research on a computer, which from my experience doesn't really do anything. Then at level 3, you'll get a matching secret agent desk, and additionally unlock the tranquilizing handshake interaction. This is a mischief interaction that will cause the target sim to pass out, which can be quite fun to make use of. Later, once you reach level 5 of the career, you'll unlock a desk lamp that can once again have a confident emotional aura enabled. And additionally, you'll also unlock the ability to investigate any sim that you know on a computer. This takes around 20 to 30 game minutes and will reveal one of the target sim's traits. At level 6 of the career, you'll be awarded a very secret spy-themed tactical map and later at level 7, a very awesome secret bookshelf door will be unlocked. And nothing feels better than entering your secret room through a bookshelf door. You'll also unlock a skin-tight turtleneck in Creator Sim, which predominantly comes in darker colours. Now to reach level 8 of the career, you'll need level 6 of the Logic and Charisma skills, and it's at rank 8 of the career that you'll need to choose to specialise in either the Diamond Agent or the Villain branch. Let's take a look at the Diamond Agent branch first, and when you first enter this branch at level 8 as a Spy Captain, you'll unlock a Spy Satellite object. Your daily task at work will also change to performing romance interactions. Then at level 9, in the career, you'll unlock the information database computer, which can have a confident emotional aura enabled. Finally, when you reach the top of the career, you'll unlock some new clothes in Creator Sim in the form of a tuxedo suit top and pants for men, which sadly, despite being rather nice, only comes in one colour. Women have it a bit better in that they get a fishtail dress that comes in a couple of different colours. 
You will need level 10 logic and level 8 charisma to reach the top of this branch as a double diamond agent. And here your sims will work Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday and take home 4,260 simoleons per very long 15 hour work day. Now let's turn our attention to the villain branch. And when you first enter this branch at level 8 as a double agent, you'll unlock the evil arm swivel chair, which is really the chair to end all chairs. It's that intense. Also side note, what does this chair do to cost 13,000 simoleons? Like the answer is nothing, but wow the expense. When you enter this branch, your daily task at work will also change to be performing mischief interactions. At level 9 in the career, you'll just get a pay rise, and then when you reach rank 10, you'll unlock a commemorative freeze ray object which can have a playful aura enabled. Now the villain branch actually has one more promotion available, meaning that you can reach rank 11 of the career. You will need level 10 logic, 6 charisma, and level 6 mischief to reach the top of this branch as a triple agent. And here your sim will work Sunday to Wednesday and Friday and take home 2,575 simoleons per 5 hour work day. You will also unlock some new clothes in Creator Sim in what I'm guessing is some sort of spy kind of outfit, but to me it's low key giving chef. And additionally you'll also unlock the Owl Founder statue which can have a playful emotional aura enabled. Now just before finishing up, a few quick tips. Firstly, consider the sims that you'll put into this career as it ends in two extremes, being either a supervillain or a top tier secret agent with good intentions. And so it's a career that can really bring to life sims with a really good moral compass or conversely a horrible moral compass. Moving on, and it can be fun to give sims who specialize as a villain the kleptomaniac trait. It's a really fun trait to use and it will allow your sims to swipe various objects when they're out and about, provided that no one sees them in the act of course, and this ties in really well with being a villain. Next is that if you have the Get Together expansion pack then you can use clubs to further bring to life the extremes of the career. For example with a club that's filled with either highly good or highly evil or nefarious sims. And of course your secret agents can join either of these clubs depending on their specialty, and it will allow them to make the career feel much more playable and like it has a bigger impact on your game. You can make the club hangouts be secret bases and awesome areas where good and evil sims can network with like-minded people. Finally, if you have the points, then consider picking up the connections reward trait, which costs 3000 satisfaction points. This will allow you to enter straight into level 4 of the secret secret agent career. Also you may want the entrepreneurial trait, which costs 2000 satisfaction points and will provide you with a passive performance boost. And with that we're at the end. That's a complete guide to the secret agent career in The Sims 4. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed or found this helpful then feel free to check out some of my other career guides if that interests you. And of course I hope you have an amazing day, see you later!